I'm Ron Patterson with Utah State University Extension in Weber and Morgan Counties. Weeds do not recognize property boundaries, so they really are everybody's problem. And today's weed warrior topic is yellow star thistle. Yellow star thistle is a winter annual, meaning it germinates in the fall, produces a rosette, sends down its tap root, and then the next summer it grows, it sends up the root flowering stock, produces the seed, and after it produces the seed, then it dies. Yellow star thistle is most easily recognized when it's flowering and it has these vicious spines right around the flower head. It's got that yellow flower and, and then the spines come around that, that flower. The stems also have this wing or fin that grows up the stem all the way up to the seed head. The seeds have this little plumule and so they'll spread a little bit by wind but mostly by uh, water and the thorns fastening onto people, onto animals, onto tires, will carry that seed and disperse it along any pathway that you, you go, go along. The rosette that forms in the fall looks a lot like a dandelion rosette would be or a prickly lettuce, so it's kind of hard to distinguish. But we don't like dandelions or prickly lettuce anyway, so anything you see something like, like that, go ahead and spray it, especially if you know there's been yellow star thistle. As you go up the stem, the leaves get a narrow strap-like leaf and again the edges of the leaf will go down into these fins that go down the stem. Now this is a pretty typical height for yellow star thistle, 18 to 24 inches, but it'll produce flowers anywhere from 6 inches to 6 feet. Yellow star thistle usually will get its foothold along trails and roads and pathways, but it spreads quite readily through the range and it is one of the worst weeds in the western United States in rain situations. It reproduces only by seed. These seeds will be viable once that flower, you get a flower up here, within about eight days you will have viable seed. And those seeds will, most of them will germinate within that first year, and very few of them will survive past four years. So if you can keep this from going to seed for four or five years, then you've got a really good upper hand on this yellow star thistle. Yellow star thistle doesn't usually get established in pastures, but if your pastures are overgrazed or not managed properly, it's very possible. Yellow star thistle causes a condition in horses called chewing disease, which is usually fatal. Cattle, sheep, and goats can eat yellow star thistle at pretty much any stage, but uh, the goats are really the only ones that will still eat it when there's the thorns on the seed head. But it, they don't have the same effect that the horses do when it comes to grazing yellow star thistle. Now prevention is always the best cure for any weed problem that we might have and so you want to watch your equipment. If you're cutting hay, be sure that you've got hay that is weed free, doesn't have the yellow star thistle in it. You're watching the equipment, the construction equipment, the agricultural equipment, your ATVs on the road. If you're going anywhere where there's yellow star thistle, check to make sure you're not picking up hitchhikers. You walk along here and these thorns will stick into your clothes and kind of carry the seed along. So that's the prevention is really, really important. Uh, but if you get it on your place, then there are some things that we can do. Biological controls are a tool that we can use to kind of help keep the population of the weeds under control. They don't wipe it out, but they help us to manage it a little bit better and there are several that we use for yellow star thistle. Here we have a cage set up to get a population of a seed head weevil established in this particular star thistle patch. So if you do get yellow star thistle at home there are a couple of simple things you can do to keep it under control. The shallow tillage with a tiller or a shovel or something like that. You can dig it up. You'll have the best luck if you dig it up after it's bolted before you produce seed. You dig it up just a couple inches below the uh, crown of the plant. Mowing will work if you mow it um, before it goes to seed, but after it's bolted, keep that from going to flower. That does a pretty good job. You just have to do it on a regular basis and kind of keep after it because it will try to send up the stock again from that crown and try to go to seed. So tillage, digging up, or mowing are all pretty good. As far as herbicides go, you can use dicamba or 2,4-D as long as the temperatures aren't too hot, which would cause it to volatilize and drift to the plants that you don't want it to be on, or glyphosate. Those uh, three products are good homeowner products that you can use on yellow star thistle. A couple of other techniques that may help in your efforts to control yellow star thistle would include the application of a pre-emergent herbicide such as Treflan, Surflan, Bayland, one of those types of products. The timing is very important on those. It needs to be done before the seeds germinate in the fall, so an early to mid-September application would work best for that. 
There's also a soil solarization technique. This is done best in the middle of the summer when it's hot, long, sunny days, when you can get the best kind of cooking effect of that. This can be, it's easily applied in the landscape situation. A little bit tougher, but there's still a farm applications that work just as well. The best time to spray your herbicides on yellow star thistle is in the fall when it's in the rosette stage or early spring, you got that rosette there rather than waiting until it's flowered and gone to seed that way you're controlling it at that small stage. In a pasture or rangeland or right-of-way situation some of the herbicides that you can use would be Telar or Escort or Milestone, uh, Transline, some of those products the reason you don't want to use those in your landscape is that there's a fair amount of soil activity it will kill plants that you don't want it to kill so in pastures right away rangeland those type of products work quite well on star thistle whenever you use a herbicide it's very important to understand and follow the label i will have more information some links in the description of the video on herbicides and some fact sheets on yellow star thistle Weeds really do not recognize property boundaries, so it's important for us to all to do our part. Let's get this yellow star thistle under control. Let's be a good neighbor, be a weed warrior.